When you've imported your photos, it's time to start organising them. This is really easy to do and will allow you to manage your photo collection more effectively as it grows. Before we start, let me introduce you to the Organise tab. This tab plays a major part in photo management and organisation. Once you've finished organising your photos, you can use the tab as a filter to navigate to specific photos in your collection. We'll explore the main functions of the Organise tab in this tutorial. The first thing we'll do is create a photo album. You can add as many photos as you like to a digital photo album, which is great for storing photos from the same event or occasion together. To begin, click Create Album in the Album section of the Organise tab, then type your album's name in the box. Now we need to specify the album content. I haven't selected any photos, and there are no photos in my Quick Album, so I'll choose Initially Empty and click OK. Your new album will appear in the Album section on the left. Let's add some photos into the album now. Click and drag around the photos you want to go in your album. Alternatively, hold down the control key and click individual photos. You could also use the shift key for selecting adjacent photos. When you've made your selection, drag it onto your album in the albums list. When a blue highlight appears around the album's name, release the mouse button. Click on an album to see the photos inside. I'll quickly create another album in the same way. Tagging is one of the best ways to organise photos as it allows you to filter photos that share the same subject matter, regardless of their file name or folder. For more information, see the filtering and searching video tutorial. In the descriptive tags category on the Organise tab, you'll see some preset action based tags which come with PhotoStack. Let's apply these now. To apply tags to multiple photos, first select the photos and then drag the selection onto a tag. You can apply tags onto individual photos in the same way, or alternatively, select a tag and then drop it onto a photo. Creating your own tags is really easy to do. Click Create Tag on the Organise tab and then type in your tag. Press the Return key on your keyboard and your tag will appear in the descriptive tags list. You can then assign it to your photos as you wish. You can also nest tags to create a tag hierarchy. Simply drag one tag onto another. For example, I'm going to create a holidays parent tag and then child tags for beach and skiing. I'll also add the city break tag I created earlier. You can add as many tags as you like. If your photos are well tagged, they'll be easy to find. At the moment, only the file name for each photo is displayed on its thumbnail. However, it's possible to display additional photo details, including date taken, rating and more. To do this, on the View menu, click on the Photo Details and then choose an option from the menu flyout. Alternatively, use All or None to toggle all photo details on and off. In PhotoStack, you can allocate star ratings to your photos. This is really useful and allows you to categorise your favourites. To rate multiple photos at the same time, select them and then drag them onto a rating on the Organise tab. You can assign ratings to individual photos in the same way, or alternatively select a rating and drag it onto the photo. You can also allocate ratings using numbers on your keyboard. Simply select a photo and then press a number from 1 to 5. Click 0 to remove any ratings previously assigned to the photo. PhotoStack allows you to stack photo thumbnails on top of each other. This is great for further organising thumbnails on display in the library and means you can stack photos together that share the same subject matter. To create a stack, First select Photo Thumbnails on the library, then right click and select Stack, Create Stack. The photos you selected will then be arranged into a stack. 
You can expand the stack by clicking on the plus icon in the top left corner of the photo thumbnail. Click the minus icon to collapse it again. When the stack is expanded, you can change which photo is at the top. To do this, right click your chosen photo and select Stack, Set Stack Top. Earlier on in this tutorial, we looked at creating photo albums. In addition to ordinary photo albums where you manually add photos, you can create smart albums. Here you can select photo properties and then Photostat searches for photos that possess these properties and groups them together. To do this, click Create Smart Album in the Smart Album section and then give your Smart Album a name. Choose whether to match the search conditions using OR or AND logic and then specify your search conditions. From the drop down list, I'll select Descriptive Tag and then in the second drop down list, I'll select one of the tags I created earlier. The criteria I've chosen means that the photos with the skiing tag assigned to them will appear in my photo album. I'm happy with this, so I'll click Add and then click OK to close the dialog. To view the photos inside a Smart Album, just click it. As you can see, stacked photos have remained stacked in the Smart Album. If in the future you import any photos that match the Smart Album's criteria, Photostack will automatically add them to the album, which means it will continue to grow. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to organise your photo collection effectively. To find out more about Photostack, see the Learning Assistant. Thanks for watching.